Yes. The first person that comes to my mind is you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Igwe. Due to your endowed wisdom and the fact that you are my own. <laughs> Thanks, Your Majesty. <laughs> I know I had a terrible dream last night. As I'm speaking to you, I am still confused. That was why I invited you so that we can share this dream and proffer a solution or an interpretation to the dream. Hey, Your Majesty, what is the dream all about? Gods. Oh no. Huh? In my dream. Yes. I saw my throne being set ablaze. Hey! To fear what? Hey! This is a bad omen. We must hasten up for the solution and invite the Kukwaman Onya, the chief priest, yes. to give us interpretation of this forbidden dream. Hey! It has to be fast. You can now, and Ebube. I decided to call this meeting with both of you present including my wife, due to the matter at hand. You all know that whenever the gods want to speak to the king, they do it through a medium, which is dream. So I want each and every one of you to be careful in whatever you do. Did I make myself clear? Your Majesty, has he gotten up to that? It has gotten to that, Ebube. Ebube, why are you asking us if you are not an indigenous of this community? Eh? That whatever a nightmare like this is being revealed to Iwe, it must be a sign of danger. Of course. It is father that I asked, and not you. Hey, Bube, keep quiet. Don't raise your voice at him. Hey, Bube, be very careful. But you have to respect yourself. Uh, 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 Shut up. Why are both of you making noise in presence of your father? I don't know. Have you lost it? On la poala. It's all right, it's all right. Hey, Bube. You have to learn to respect your elder. The heir apparent to the throne. Mm -hmm. I mean, the next man to be crowned king of Land. I'm sorry, your majesty. You better be. You better be. Like I said, you all have to be careful. Until the interpretation and the solution is being propounded. I have spoken. Hmm. Nduka, I was so ashamed of myself that day. And her mama, Angel. Mm. Forget about you, Kuku. Mm. It's none of his business. Even if he did for one day, he got pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's not concerning him. It's none of his business. Look at wait now. Wait now, wait now. <coughs> good evening, Anobu. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I hope all is well. As you can see, all is well, Anobu. Hmm. <laughs> this boy is rough and rude. Huh? The worst part of it is that he's a womanizer. Hey! My elders in council. Today is the appointed day. We are expecting to hear from the Great One. The eyes and the mouthpiece of the gods. Yeah. Yes, this is so important to us because this whole matter has kept us on a great uh, suspense and fear. <laughs> Hey, 
Your Highness, Igwe Ugodike of Uncano Land, I greet you. Igwe Guaman Onya, Amade, the great seer of our time, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Cabinet members of the land, I greet you also. Ikuku, please rest my fear by giving us interpretation to this horrible dream and its solutions. Please help us, help us. Your Highness, I'm sorry to disappoint you with this negative information. The situation is still obscure. Obscure? Nothing seen at all. Everything still shrouded. From the picture, one can fathom nothing. But all hope is not lost. Because for seven days I'm going to embark on journey to evil forest, to high seas, low seas, to decipher where it's going wrong. And I want to assure you that on the seventh day, I'll be here to make all necessary revelations. The mad piece of the gods. Is seven days not too long? Yes, the great one. Can't it be three days, for example? Will two of you shut up and sit down? You want to control the affairs of the gods of the land? Who are you to do that? It's three days not enough. It's four days. Ebu yaunu na the bungwa. The great one. The great one. We are so sorry. Sorry for yourself. I see a book in the can, a bunya, a bungo, but not this small hex. The jack I simbe. You simbe. You know, Mbe has big body but tiny head. That's what we are. Your Highness, let me reassure you again that on the seventh day after this journey, I'll come back here, make revelation to all of you. Thank you very much. Huh? Thank you. Hey. Well, my head has a castle. They have all heard it directly from the great one. Let's wait seven days. My son, the Prince of Uncanaland, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, um, I want to know the verdict by the Great One, Ikuku. There's no negative or positive verdict yet. But my greatest fear is the suspense of what the interpretation is all about. But, Your Majesty, you don't have to bother yourself so much about the nightmare. My son, you will not understand. I am worried because many seasons ago, when I was young like you, my father was the king of Nkana land. He dreamt a terrible dream. He dreamt that many goats invaded his farmland and destroyed all the crop that were meant for cash crops. That is why I'm worried, my son. Father, tell me more, please. When he woke up, after going through all the necessary investigation about the dream, there was big famine in the land that took lives of many some died of hunger and starvation. That is why I am worried, my son. Your Majesty, you kept this concealed from me up to this my age. Well, I believe nothing will happen to you or your subjects. That's what I believe. 
believe so too. Your Highness, are you still in this mood? Yes, Lolo. You will not understand how I feel about this whole issue in my reign. How about my two sons and my daughter, especially the heir apparent to the throne? Your Highness, why do you fix all your love on our first son? No, why? it's not what you think. I have equal love for all my children. Let her be. Your Highness, have you heard from the Great One? That is what really worries my heart. I wonder if he's alive or have been hijacked by the spirits in the evil forest. No, Your Highness. My husband, let your heart not be so troubled about Iko. I know that the gods of our land would never put us to shame. Take it easy, please. I hope so too. It's okay. Abu Chemje was up for ya. Abu Chemje was up for ya. Open more of what will. Hey, cuckoo! Will you go to the palace and tell the Igwe the truth? Spirit messenger, how can I go and do that? If I do it, my life will be gone. Just go and tell him the truth. No. How can I do it? What of the shame involved? What of the scandal it will create? What could be the interpretation this time? Hmm? His late father, Igwe Ube Buka, dreamed several years ago and there was great feminine. Now, Igwe has dreamt another dream. What could be the solution? So that what happened several years ago will not repeat itself. Oh no. Why are you muttering and murmuring? What in the world could make you to talk to yourself? Ah. Oh no. Please calm down. I believe the gods are with us. You see, tomorrow is the returning day of the Great One. Uh -huh. And to tell you frankly, since he embarked on this spiritual journey, I have never had any rest. Oh no, you are feeling exactly what I am feeling. All is well. Hey. Well, let's hope so. Let's be positive before the eyes of the gods. That's him. Why is he coming back on the sixth day? I thought he said he was on the seventh day. It seems all is not well. Okay. All is not well at all, my sister. See. It's like eh, mm -hmm. the ghost has revealed Igwe's secret to Nanikyo, the Igwe's nightmare to him. Mm -hmm. If that should be the case, then it's a good news. Please, 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Long live your majesty. <laughs> oh no. I am deeply troubled. Eh, 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 eh. Your majesty, Ikuku is back. Are you sure? I heard it from the right source that he's back. <laughs> but oh no, if I may ask, uh, why sooner than promised? It's true. But if the gods decided to answer him before the seventh day, why worry? Eh? Have you observed the tension in the palace recently? Is it the confusion in the land concerning the Igwe's dream? Shh! Bring down your voice. I don't want to be caught and punished. For God's sake, the royal house is on fire due to the worrisome dream the king had. Please, I'm not among this eloquence. And what are your people discussing here? This early. Don't you have a better job to do than to gossip with the royal household? It's not what you think. We are discussing something else. Then what? And whatever you ladies are discussing about, make sure you don't get yourself caught by His Majesty. The great seer, your highness, please go ahead and tell us how you went. Thank you, your highness. Thank you, cabinet members. Your highness, I actually traversed seven rivers and seven evil forests. But as I was returning, a baby spirit appeared to me and declared that calamity will befall this land unless a proper revelation of your dream will be given. Ikuku, are you sure this is what the baby spirit revealed to you? Will you shut up your mouth? What an affront! From where did this your God come from? Huh? If you are not careful, more trouble will befall this land. <laughs> Johannes, as I was saying, this baby spirit also added that somebody must have wronged the gods of the land. And who must that be? It wasn't revealed to me. No revelation of it? Huh? Another suspense trouble ahead. Yeah. Well, Ikuku, the great seer. Your Highness. Please go ahead and investigate them. And make sure you bring the culprit to book. Go now and commence your investigation. Your Highness, I will do just that. Thank you all. Hi. Thank you very much. Good <laughs> Your Highness, why this sudden unpredictable trouble on the land? Did we offend the gods? My friend, I really can't tell. The worst part of it is that the gods have decided to keep silent. I wish they could speak so that I will know how to avoid this clouded sky from raining down on us. That way, my subjects and I will not be drenched by any poisonous rain. That's why I'm so troubled. I believe the gods will speak to us soon. I pray so too. Oh no, oh no, who? Where are you up to this time? My dear, His Majesty sent for me, so I'm up to the palace. Mm. You know, you and His Majesty, he always need you by his side. You don't blame him. You don't blame him because a good leader 
who seeks for the best for his kingdom always do that to avoid calamity. It's too late. Indeed, our ego is a good leader. Yes. My worries now is the double suspense, the ego's nightmare, and the corporate. Really? Yes, yes. Actually, it's terrible and worrisome. Mm -hmm. But I know something must be done. Very good so, uh, please, let me rush down to the palace because uh, I know he must be waiting for me you impatiently know, now. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 the girls have done it. What is it? Did you discover the interpretation of the nightmare and its solution as well? No, Father. Something different from that. <laughs> Mother. And what is this envelope that you're holding? I just received my admission letter. Wow, what? <laughs> yes, mother. Oh, that's my son. Yes, mother. Really? Yes. Uh, uh, Your Highness. Are you still in this mood? My queen, how do you expect me to rejoice in the mix of Great suspense of danger. Your Highness, my husband, I understand that you've been troubled, but you've not folded your arms all these days. Honey, one thing I know is that the gods of our land will never, ever put us to shame. Please celebrate this great news with our son. I hope so. Congratulations. Thank you, Father. Who is that? Come in, the door is unlocked. My God! <laughs> Tell me, what's up now? Hi, Father! Oh, Allah. What did that happen? I just uh, looked small into my book, so... Every time you look, what did this book look at you? I'm a eh? student I mean, I mean, I become the official of this, uh, 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 our campus. If I become the VC, is it a bad thing? You see, you can't move babe. I saw you yesterday, you had that cutting. Won't say babe like that on black shorts, uh, and white top with Mickey Mickey, something, something, something. It's a woman. See, that girl was asking me of the direction to the office. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't tell you. No, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't tell you. Come on, this day, John. But that reminds me. I will be attending the Legion of Mary meeting tomorrow. Okay. Will you come with me? You say? Do I have water in my mouth? How would I know? I will be attending Legion of Mary meeting tomorrow and I want you to come with me. Okay. Me. So come with you. Back home. Uh, that one baby could show. So if the one baby no come, you don't go come. No, that one could What's be your problem? They take woman's weapon. No, 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 You are welcome, the royal guard of Kali Kingdom. Um, thank you, the great your servant. Please, where is Ikuku, the great one? Ikuku, my father, is not around. Please, when he comes back, let him know that His Majesty needs his presence. Did I make myself clear? Is that the command? I am sorry, but that is the way His Majesty sent me to this message. 
I will deliver the message. Thank you. Let me take my leave. <coughs> Yeah. Good day. Miss, uh, don't, don't remember me. We met in school when I asked you for a direction to the HOD's office. Yes, 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 my <laughs> head. Yeah. I now remember. How are you I'm doing? Okay. I'm okay. Well, I'm Rose. And you are? I'm Bro Hey, Bupe. Hey, um, you seem you live off campus. I live at the Rear Lodge, room six. Well, me, I stay in the school, um, in the school hostel. My parents cannot afford such a exorbitant uh, rate of uh, off-camp accommodation. So, I live in the school hostel. Um, hostel B to be precise. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm a legionary and I would like you to join us at our Legion of Mary meeting on Thursdays by... Please, just, 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 just pay me all this preaching. See what will happen. Tomorrow, I'll come and see you in your hostel. Um, since tomorrow is Sunday, say by 1 p.m. Is that okay with you? One PM. Okay. No problems. That's okay by me. No problems. Okay. See you then now. Yeah, see you. Okay, bye. Take care. The great thing. Please, I want to know if there is a demand of sacrifice from the gods. So that we can start to appease them. Before calamity befalls this land where my kingship reigns. Your Highness. That's one of my surprises. If there was a revelation about one sacrifice or the other, I would have informed everybody. But there is none yet. What could be the reason for your anger? It is still the same answer I'm giving you, that I've not known anything, I've not been told anything. But I have strong belief that sooner than later, I will hear from the gospel of the land and pass on the information to all of you. Hey, if I, guy, Ebus, Alpha now. Yeah. When are we going to celebrate our first month in the campus? Yeah. You know we are big boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ebus, that's right. I think this calls for celebration. Of course, yeah. Because it's not an easy thing to at least get admission. You are right, Sha. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a call for celebration. Oh. But, ah, you people have to give me time now to finish up with my clearance and all that things. You know, say no issue. I see, I, I know very well that you're very, very, very stretchful. No, we just forget that one. See, my mom baby wants to go and visit me. Ah, this guy. You know, since I get an issue, she has not. I mean, you know, now. See, I, guys, guys. Let me tell you. You have not even yet started. And you people are complaining. <laughs> That's my problem with this guy. We are here yeah. talking about the stress of the of our clearance and all that. And he's talking about his one baby. So am I complaining? What about your books? <laughs> now, see, 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 see. Are you are you are you my enemy now? Which kind of enemy? Yeah, I can't even tell from baby now. So you can't even carry the word. You know you know what is shit. See, see, see. Gross. Make you carry time more. Go read your books and carry time while they tell you. No, no be say first and say time. Go come and lie on me. I know go. I know. I know go help you. When I wrote my jam, when I wrote my jam, I made I don't it. Tell I don't tell. I scored the round. Are you waiting? Go and read your book. Hey, Rose, make you. Oh my God. No, try not. See, next time you enter my review, where this pass and go drop on. If I, my say pass. If I, if I, put that me in the morning. Put which? Read your books. Take and read. By tomorrow, I will tell you another story. IJ. What? Guy! Yeah. Seriously? See! Ross, I beg, no, I need that to mama. Unless it's not to the school, so I can meet up with the lecturers now. Is that the trait? You know that uh, con 112 lecturer? That man is so strict. So, because of 112. I will not be happy again. If we get there late, you know what is involved. I beg, let's hasten up. I beg, let's hasten up. I beg. Okay, let's, let, let's go faster now. Ah. Yes, 
presented to you. Greetings. The Prince of Mokano Kingdom. Greetings to you. Where is the princess? She's in her room, my prince. Go and let her know that I would like to see her. Okay, my prince. I'm sitting beside the swimming pool. Yes, my prince. Of Kano land. Good day, uh, the princess of Kano Kingdom. The only princess. Great. Oh no! <laughs> princess why are you flattering me now? But that's true. I'm not flattering you. That's true. Don't flatter me, Joe. <laughs> You're supposed to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. You're welcome. Since you Can kept... I see? Oh, you see? Ah, thank you. I wish I had it. No, no, no. You're my, my prince. Oh. His Royal Majesty needs your present. Alright. Tell me I will be with him in the GFK. Okay? okay, my prince. Alright. I hope everything is okay. It's a usual thing now. He never needs my attention. Let's go, let's go and see him. Um no, I will, I will, I will still go now. See this guy. Father Ebube! Ebube Father? So all these titles for me, eh? What, what uh, else now? Oh. Eh? What do you want us to say? <laughs> when you cannot miss uh... Morning Mass! Morning Mass! Night Mass! Even Legion of uh, the other people! How I wish it was my destiny to be a priest. I would have been happy. So that whenever I see you guys, I would always tell you, bless you, bless you. But all the same, that is how I chose to live my life. <laughs> That's by the way. Uh? You see that girl? Uh? Even I saw you with that day. I saw her today. She's fine, oh, beautiful. So be, forget about girls. That is not my mission to this city. By the way, where are you girls up to? Well, uh, I just want to escort him to go and see his baby. My baby. <laughs> That's when I own cup of tea. Aye. Whenever you are gone, you meet him at home. Aye. Aye. See, see, you, you will soon drink with that, his <laughs> that cup of tea. No, my him. Guys, yes. see, like, what we are about. I know, baby, I don't need to come back. Hi, and how may I help you? I'm Bro Ebube by name, and you? I'm Choma by name. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Did you go to church today? No, I didn't. Wow. We Christians, the level of devotion the pagans give to their gods, if we emulate such level of devotion to our own God, we will see the mighty hand of God more effective and active in our lives. That is why I want to invite you to our Legion of Mary meeting on Thursday. Well, I don't think I will, I will be chanced. You know, I'm a student. I do go to school. I am equally a student like you. But I want you to also understand that chance doesn't create nor make us. Rather, we create and make chance. If you really want to come, I know that you will create the chance and the time to be with us. Okay. By what time? 7.30 a.m., like I said before. Well, by the grace of God, I'll be there on Sunday. I'll be hoping to see you. Okay, bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Is everything all right? Oh! Uloma, the news is everywhere. What news? Uwa, the great hunter. Mm -hmm. Was killed by a strange vulture. Oh! Huh? Just like that. Hey! Just like that. Papa? Oh. Why all these calamities? What have we done to deserve this, Papa? Mwame, Joma, Joni. The gods have refused to talk. They have refused to talk. That is the problem. Yeah. Hey! 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 But you must take heart. Take heart. Because our ancestors are not asleep. That is what gives me joy. Joy in the sense that we cannot be suffering and they go sleeping. No, they can't sleep. They can't sleep. All must be well. Oh no, you see, you see, I should take heart. I should take heart. <laughs> My only child, my only son, my only son Abina is gone. He's gone. Um, Ichi Iwa, accept our sympathy. One thing I know is that the gods will attend to this predicament. They will answer our prayers, and this situation will be solved. Because I know they are not asleep. Take heart, you are a man. What do you think about the matter at hand in this kingdom? Who do you think are the people responsible for such offense? I don't really know. Or oh, are you suspecting someone? I am not suspecting anyone. But come to think of it, are you sure it's not Ikenwa the hunter who mistakenly shot his fellow hunter to death during hunting? Hey, Ngozi, shut up before His Majesty demand your presence in the palace. For explanation, I'm not involved. Let's go. How will you be involved after gossiping with me? Adora. Good morning, Father. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, Father. I can see you're one of those that help to keep the church premises clean. Yes, Father. I am a legionary. 
May Almighty God continue to bless and sanctify you. Amen. May our mother Mary continue to intercede for you. Amen. Do have a nice day. Thank you, Father. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine, Father. How may I help you? Father, I'm just a new student in this city and I'm also a legionary in this parish. So I bought this rosary and I want you to bless it for me. May Almighty Father bless this rosary in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. I would like to see you in my office on Thursday by 12 noon. Yes, Father. No problems. Your Highness, Your Majesty, you have to calm down. Everything will be fine again. How do you mean everything will be fine? When the gods have been silent for a long time now, as if that is not enough, they now strike my subjects with mysterious death. Father! My Father! What is this? There's a woman outside weeping. She said her husband and daughter has been struck to death mysteriously. What? Where is she? She's outside. Woman, what is it? What is it? Your highness, I'm finished. I'm finished, your highness. My husband is dead. Iwe, my father and sister, we are both struck to death while we are walking out the front this morning. Your highness, this is getting too much. Something has to be done about this. It's okay. Stop crying, woman. It's okay. Ikuku has to do something about this. I cannot be losing my subjects day after day. Eh? Ave Maria. Ave Maria. General, <clears throat> I want to use this opportunity to inform us that uh, next week will be our Korea meeting. And uh, I'm sure that we all are aware that my six years of administration has come to an end. Therefore, I won't be eligible to be voted for. But I pray Our Lady to help us elect a good leader that will succeed me. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Uh, may we hear from our visitor from Kure? Ave Maria. Ave Maria. I was sent from Queen of Apostle Kure to inform you that your president, Oza, has completed his second term of office and will not be eligible to be voted for in the same office. I'm also here to inform you that by the next career, this procedure, mother of our creator, will be divided into two because we believe in recruiting and extension. Have a, uh, thank you, Brother Mike. Introduction of new members. So if you know that today is your first time of coming, may we see you. Okay, okay um, please introduce yourself. My name is Sifani Emeka. Okay, thank you. My name is Asubike Tony. Okay. Uh, thank you. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, Brother Bube, please help us explain the settings of the altar today. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. The religion system is invaluable. If you want to talk to us for our new members, you first of all say Ave so that we will not give you attention and respond, Maria.
Ave Maria. Ave Maria. So the things on our altar setting. You see the candle stand. And it always has a glow that protects it from the breeze. But last week, two of our globes broke. So we'll buy another one by next week. That is why the breeze is disturbing us. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Then on our altar, you will see the candle. This candle here represents light. Just like Jesus said that we are the light of the world. We are the light other people are seeing. So we are expected to live a life that will motivate other people to live a holy life. Ave. Amen. After the candle stand, you will see the vexillum. This vexillum here is the emblem, the badge of the legion. It was a pagan that created this vexillum. But when he created it, they were using it in Rome as the Roman's coat of arm. Just like in Nigeria, we have our own coat of arm. And in our coat of arm, we have the horse, the shield, and the ego. Have a... So in the Roman's coat of arm, they also have the ego here in their coat of arm, which represents the beauty of a country, the beauty of Rome. And they had here the image of the emperor of the Roman Empire. His image is here. They are trying to tell us how strong the strength of it, of Rome, how strong they are, that they are the most strongest forces in the world. Ave. But when the legion saw it and saw that it was good, the legion borrowed it and substituted. We took away the ego and substituted it with the dove because the dove represents the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended on him in form of a dove, saying, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well worth pleased. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see the dove in your dream, it represents an encounter with the Holy Spirit. So when you now read the symbol, it now means that the Holy Spirit in Legion of Mary, through the Virgin Mary, shares his grace to the world. This globe here is the world because the world is what? A globe. Then you come to the flower vessel. We have two sets of flowers in our flower vessels. One, the artificial flower. This artificial flower represents the glorification in heaven. That is why if you dream and see somebody who is dead in a dream and he or she is surrounded, surrounded by flowers, it simply means that that person is in the glory of heaven. Then we have the life flower. This life flower shows that those who are having this meeting here and now are the what? The living legionaries. Have a Maria. Because we are not yet dead, this life flower represents the living legionaries. Amen. Then after the flower, you will see the statue of Our Lady. I used to think that the Catholics and the legionaries will worship this statue. But when I became a legionary, I was made to understand that we do not worship the statue. And nobody in the church teaches anybody to worship the statue. Because the Virgin Mary is not a god. And we can never worship her. That is why there is a song we used to sing that says, We are honoring Mary. We are honoring. We are honoring Mary. We never worship her. Some people say we worship her. Not at all. Everybody join the chorus for my mama. Ave. So with this statue here reminds us that this woman standing here is our mother and our role model. We are called to live the kind of life she lived so that we will be in heaven where she is. Ave Maria. Then, our altar cloth is white because white represents was purity. But when the wife gets dirty, what do you do? You wash it. Therefore, each and every one of us is called to live a pure life. So if you commit a sin, you should not rely back on, on your sin. Go for confession. Attend the sacrament of penance. That, through that means you will be washed again, just like the white. Then, the, the, color, we, the colors we use in writing on our outer cloth. We do not use any color we like. Rather, we use two colors. One, it is either red or blue. 
because red is the color of the Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles in form of a flame of fire. That is why even on the day of Pentecost, our, our priest wears the vestment that is what red. Their cloth is always red because the color of the Holy Spirit. So the blue is the color of Our Lady, which represents what love. So it's either we use blue or red or combine the two to write on our altar cloth. Have a... Then lastly, the name of our presidium. The name of our presidium is Our Lady, Mother of our Creator. Before you give a presidium a name, you not just give any name. You give a presidium a name according to what has happened in the life of Mary or what pertains to Jesus and Mary. Just like Mother of the Comforter, Queen of All Hearts, Queen of All Saints, Kate of Heaven, or even Mother of our Creator. So anything that connects to Mary and Jesus is something we use for the name of a procedure. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, thank you very much for that explanation. Closing prayer. Let me hear that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. So, how are your studies? Very fine, Father. How are you? Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Father, I went to your office and the master ever told me that you're in the parish house. That was why I had to walk down here. To see you. Oh, you're welcome, me, baby. Thank you, Father. You know, after our vision of very meetings, we do go for our work. So after the work, I said, let me come down immediately to see you because I might go home and may not be able to come back again. Oh, you already belong to a society in the church. Yes, Father. That's good of you. That's actually one of the reasons why I sent for you. Okay. Always try to be a good Catholic and a good Christian also. Yes, Father. Don't hesitate to recite your rosary on daily basis and always try to attend daily masses. I believe our mother Mary will always intercede for you. Let's pray. I want to seize this opportunity to thank each and every one of us that has voted for me and my fellow executive in the last election. It was a thing of surprise to me that I have not even lasted up to one year in this great organization and you find me worthy to be voted for. I personally want to thank you all and I pray that Our Lady and God Almighty will give me the grace and wisdom to lead this organization to the next level. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Also, my vice called me yesterday because of his inability to be in the meeting today, but he promised that he will be available by next week because he traveled to the village. Also, I also want to stress on the issue of personal holiness, which is in our handbook with 67. It makes us to understand that without that personal holiness, it will be impossible for us to convert soul because personal holiness is the object and the means by which we convert souls. So it was a dream. 
They will devour us along the Holy Spirit. Father, I come against every spirit of death. Take him food to take away life in my family. I come against it by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. I come against it, it by the authority in the name of Jesus. I render your power powerless. I come against you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Bad dream. But have you called your father? I've called my father. He sounded very okay over the phone. But something in me still tells me that all is not well. Ibube. Ibube. Stop all these negative thoughts. It will help you. Just believe that it is well. <laughs> Zubi, all was not well even when I left the village. How do you mean that? It's okay. You, you won't understand. But with time, you will understand. You know what? It's okay. Ave Maria. What is that look on your face? My brother. I'm not happy at all. What happened? I had a terrible dream last night. My father was lying terribly sick. So I want to travel to the village to confirm, though I have called him on the phone. Please, I want you to let our members know that I'll be available by our next meeting. Please, take it easy. Nothing will happen to your father. I will extend your message to members. See here? Thanks take for it your concern, bro. Take it easy. Yes, bye. bye. So, Ebube, you came back all the way from school to visit us because you had a dream. Father, ever since then, I've never been myself. Ebube, stop dreaming, please. The one His Majesty had is yet to be interpreted. Oh. Ebube, I was in Abiko. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say. No, don't worry yourself. I know his problem. Ebube's interpretation of dreams is not far-fetched. It's either malaria. Fever. No, no, no. It's not malaria. It's because he remembered that there's no place like home. Okay. So the whole family of Ibu Godike have joined hands in making jest of me. Ibube, eh? Relax. Don't mind them. Okay? I know you are worried about the situation at hand. Don't mind them. <laughs> Father. Mother. I'll be traveling back tomorrow. Father, I want you to be strong for me till the solution of this nightmare is revealed. Because it hurts me deeply whenever I see you in this mood. <laughs> Ebube, my son, thank you very much. I appreciate your love and concern. You see, lately I've been able to observe that there's a tremendous change in your disposition. You are now exhibiting the character of a real man. I am very proud of you. I want you to maintain this, your present disposition. I'm proud of you. Thank you, my father. Do Hamadike, one of Nkana Kingdom. <laughs> Another thing, as you're going back to school, try to maintain your positive personality. You know you are a royal blood. And don't you forget our advice. Okay? Yes, 
Ave Maria. Ave Maria. I want to use this opportunity to thank my vice for acting in my absence last week. It was due to certain reasons blocked by control. But I thank God everything is over and I am back now. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Well, Ebube, we accept your apology. Your apology is highly accepted. And we thank you for how you have been leading us. Everybody here can testify to that. We say, may the good Lord bless you and give you more wisdom to lead us. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, they are local show. The spiritual reading was taken from the New Legionary Handbook, page 72, the external aims of the Legion. Item 1, the actual work in hand. In Legion of Mary, we do so many works, but there is a particular work, and that actual work in hand is making of its members holy. It is the wish of the Legion that each and every one that becomes his member must do what? Live a holy life. Living a holy life is not something you can claim in the air by saying, I claim it. No. Living a holy life is something that can be nurtured into somebody bit by bit gradually. And that gradually demands that we must be attending the Legion meeting every week because it is in this meeting that you can hear words that can motivate and enable you to live that holy life out. Then, once you start living that holy life, it is now given the character of apostleship, which is to convert souls. Because anyone who is not living a holy life cannot do what? Convert a sinner. But once you start living a holy life, you can now begin to go for evangelism, go for legendary works. Can a sinner convert a sinner? No. no. Hi. Hi. Why all this situation in the land? Eh? Why? 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 Hi. Why? Mm. Unlike the previous days, when the dream of His Majesty had not come. Papa. Papa. This one you're talking to yourself. Is everything all right? My dear, it's just that I'm agitated over all these issues. Papa, you are the no who of Nkano Kingdom. Please, rest your mind, believing that future will be better than now. It's just that the whole thing is so painful. Papa. Please come and eat your food before it gets cold. Please go. Papa. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Our local show today will be taken from our new legionary handbook, page 18, chapter 5, item 1, God and Mary. Ave Maria. This page is trying to explain to us vividly the position of God and Mary in Christendom. Because People have this wrong, wrong belief that we Catholics, especially we legionaries, worship Mary and adore her as our God. It is totally wrong. I even believed it before I became a legionary. But now, 
the picture is now clear. God is the maker of heaven and earth. The almighty, the creator of everything, even in heaven and on earth. So, you cannot compare him to anybody. But Virgin Mary, out of God's own willingness, he picked her and gave her the privilege to be the mother of his son. Because Jesus Christ is God, isn't he? It is. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That word that is being talked about here is Jesus, the word of God that was made flesh, and he dwelt among us. Since he is God, Mary has every privilege to be called Mary, the mother of God. Ave Maria. Are you getting it? Yes. yes. So when you see the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you do not bow before it. No. It is wrong. The Catholic Church is a church that has so much respect. Even at the mention of the name Jesus while praying, we bow. And just like the Yorubas have respect for their elders, whenever they want to give their elders, they prostrate and say, Kabi say, Abarabi Abarabba, Ekaro. Is it bowing? Will you call that bowing? It is not bowing. They prostrate before their, their, their elders. We do not bow. We only prostrate before the statue of Virgin Mary as a sign of homage, as a sign of respect, because she is the mother of God and our mother. 